three must know circuits for every electronics expert. With a 555 timer, you can build over a thousand useful circuits, and I have tons of ideas for different projects. This is one of those projects. But first, you need to watch this video all the way through because it covers a very important part of that bigger project. So please, hit the like button right now, and let's get started. First, let's take a look at the internal circuit of the 555 timer. As you can see, it contains two operational amplifiers, or comparators, used for voltage comparison. One is for the threshold voltage and the other for the trigger voltage, and in many cases, we connect these two inputs together. The outputs of the comparators go into a flip-flop, which produces a digital output, either 0 or 1. One important pin on this IC is pin 7. When the flip-flop's main output goes low, the other output goes high which turns on an internal transistor and connects pin 7 directly to ground. Now, let's see how the surrounding components work. The capacitor charges through this resistor, the diode, and part of the second resistor. During this time, the output is low. Once the capacitor charges up to two-thirds of the supply voltage, the output switches to high and pin 7 gets grounded allowing the capacitor to discharge and the cycle continues. I've actually built this exact circuit so you can see it in action. The first resistor doesn't really affect the frequency, but the second resistor and the capacitor are what determine it. However, in this specific setup, we can only adjust the symmetry or asymmetry of the waveform. You can build this circuit in other ways too, but the frequency might not be as accurate. This is the basic and most essential 555 timer circuit that everyone should know. It's called the Estable Timer Configuration. You can also combine these two circuits to create a signal that looks like ASK modulation. The idea is to connect pin 4 of the main circuit to another oscillator circuit. This way. The second circuit can control whether the main oscillator is on or off, kind of like turning the signal on and off, which is basically what amplitude shift keying or ASK does. But it's not just limited to communication systems, you can actually use this technique for all kinds of creative applications. It's a simple trick, but it opens up a lot of possibilities. I was editing the video when I noticed something interesting. The recorded audio sounds exactly like ASK modulation. Take a listen. Another very important circuit is the timer circuit, also known as the monostable circuit. As you can see, pin 2 is connected to the power supply. This causes the main flip-flop output to reset to zero and the other output to go high. As a result, pin 7 gets connected to ground, which prevents the capacitor from charging. However, when we press this switch, the comparators invert the flip-flop output, making the IC output go high. This breaks the connection between pin 7 and ground, allowing the capacitor to start charging. The charging continues until the comparators change the flip-flop output again. So, this is basically how a timer works. I have prepared this circuit, although it has quite a bit of wiring. According to the formula, if you use a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a 470 microfarad capacitor, the output will stay active for about 5 seconds. This is the kind of circuit I might use in a bigger project. Now, instead of a switch, I used a transistor, because we might need to use a transistor and IC together for this task. It works really well. The last circuit is the bistable circuit. It's a very simple one, there's no capacitor involved, and no formulas to calculate. All you need to do is adjust the inputs of the comparators so that the output gives you exactly what you want. 
When you connect pin 2 to ground, the output stays on permanently. But when you ground pin 4, the output turns off. With a little creativity, you can build lots of useful circuits with this, like a 555 timer tester, a voltage booster, and more. Thanks so much for watching the video all the way through. If you found it helpful, please like the video and share it with others. I really appreciate your support.